Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see whether the last update date can be ignored for delta detection or not. So, in order to demonstrate this activity, we have created one table called as a BO ident. It is like identification table. It has column name, ID, and country. We have created one staging table. The name is CSTG source one ident. It has columns again the name, ID, and country which is propagated from base object. In settings tab, we have enabled the delta detection on all the columns except last update date. That means we are looking for if we ignore the last update date whether a delta detection works for the rest of the columns or not. If yes, then we can skip this last update date. If not, then we have to always consider last update date. We know that in general the last update date is very important column and we cannot ignore that. So let's see how it impacts on the delta detection process. So this is the base object and staging table. We also created the landing table called as a CL ident which have again the same column name, ID and country along with the last update date which is a system generated column in landing table. Of course we have created corresponding mapping for the source one ident table. We have map name, ID and country table a country column to respective columns in the staging table. The last update date is also mapped to the last update date. The ID column is also used for populating the picky source object. So these are the basic configuration in MDM hub side. Let's see what we have in the database. In the database we have created three record in the landing table. First is, uh, first is Manish from IND1 country with ID 1 to 3. Second record is Mike 1 2 with ID 3 4 5 in US and the third record with the low Roland with the ID 4 4 4 in UK. So these are the basic things we have to uh, prepare for the testing. So let's start our first staging job. In order to execute the staging job we have to go to the batch viewer, select this mapping and execute the mapping. As the data is very low it should quickly load it and we can see the three records got loaded in the staging table. Let's execute the load job corresponding to ident. It should also populate the corresponding base of the table. So three records got successfully loaded. Now we'll check in the database whether those records present in the base object or not. It is CBO ident and we can see on the last updated this one source last updated will be different which is coming from the source which will be in the x-ray and the name and all the details are populated correctly. Now what we'll do we'll update one of the column and let's see but Let's update just country column for the first record from IND1 to IND2. We'll not update the last update date. We'll keep as it is because that is what we want to test. Commit it. Now I can see the country is populated with IND2. Let's execute the stage job. So this time we are not use the last update date column. Whether the delta will be determined or not. Yes, the delta will be determined because we have considered country as a delta detection column and last update date is the same. Now we are going to run the load job to push the record from staging to base object and let's see what will happen here. If you notice the record even it is determined as a delta it is not getting updated in the base object. We will see in the base object will verify whether country is populated with IND2 or not for the record. One. So the record one is Manish and the country is not got updated. The reason is we need to have the last update date which is greater than the previously loaded last update date. If the last update date it does not change then we will not able to replicate the latest data in the base object. 
now one more case we can see that is nothing but will update last update date as we know the last update date is not considered for delta detection we'll see whether the record will be considered for the delta detection or not so instead of 3rd august we'll just make 4th august the rest of the attributes will keep as it is so we updated the last update date from 3rd august to 4 august and we'll run the stage job now we ran the stage job we can see zero records loaded the reason is as the last update date is not considered for delta detection this record will not be detected as a delta and hence the record will not be loaded now if you change the both last update date even it is not considered for the delta detection but it will be considered during the load job and also update the record that means we are in a updating the delta enable column commit it and let's execute one more time so this time we'll execute the mapping it should show at least one record to be loaded because we updated one record we'll run the load job and make sure we are running the uh, the last update date should be greater than and not the less than what we previously so this time we can see the record got updated even if you go and check in the base object we'll see the updated record so you can see the record got updated from mic 1 to 2 mic 1 to 3 there is one more case we can check and that is nothing but we'll make the last we'll update the last update date but we'll update to the previous date for example the record instead of august 2 let's make some other date or let's make it august 1 and we'll also update the country code from ind2 to ind3 and let's see how it works we are going to commit it so we change the date but it is previous date and we change the country so it the last update date is changed and the delta detection delta enable column is also got changed we'll see whether the delta is detected or not we are executing mapping we can see the delta is detected the reason is we have selected or we updated the delta detection column now we'll see whether the record is get updated in the base object or not this time we updated the last update date to the previous date and one of the delta column so you can see even we update the the delta column but the last update date is previous date the record is not updated so there is no action so even if you can vary uh, you can verify that in the database so we updated country ind2 ind2 ind3 so you can see the record is not updated rather it has the original value so by this way we can conclude that the last update date is very important column in the base object as well as in the staging table also in the landing table so we cannot ignore a last update date column for delta detection we have to have the last update date during delta detection so that the record can be loaded in the base object i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how last update did impact on the delta detection process. Thank you again and have a nice time.